This is Julie. I'm here with Caroline, and she's going to explain us this game called Pompero. So the name's up here if you can't understand me through my mask. Um, it's a game about bringing wind power to Uruguay using the strong winds that come in off the coast that they call the Pompero. Oh. So it's done by a Uruguayan board game designer who wanted to feature his home country in a game. That's awesome. So how do you do this? Um, well, I've had a lot of people ask me how to categorize it, and there's there's a little bit of worker placement and a little bit of engine building and a little bit of deck building and a little bit of, um, oh, there was one other thing. There's a little bit of something else, but it's um, also none of the above. <laughs> okay. um, there's, oh, area control. That was the other thing. There's okay. a little bit of area control. Um, so you take your pieces, you take the, the power towers and the windmills and you put them on the board and then you, you pay to put them on the board. And then you take contracts from the board and those help increase your income. And that's uh, whoever ends the game with the most money wins. Kind awesome. of like, you know, success in real life, I guess, yeah, exactly. or something. <laughs> so is this two to four players? It is one to four, actually. One to four, I like that. Um, so it's one to four players, roughly two hours. It depends on how analytical you get. Okay. I had a group yesterday of four that took, you know, three hours and 15 minutes, but one person was like, must make the best turn ever every time. Um, and, you know, a couple days ago I played with three people and it took us two hours almost flat. Um, and that would included the teaching them. Oh, so. okay. What's oh, the age on this? Um, I think it says 14 plus. I don't have the box okay. here with me. I would think so. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of symbols and things. Once you understand what the symbols mean, mm -hmm. it's pretty self-explanatory. I see people, you know, after the first few turns, they don't need me to explain everything. Right. Um, but sometimes there's a card or two that's like, uh, what does that mean? Where's the rule book? <laughs> and what's the MSRP on this? Uh, I believe, so it goes to Kickstarter in October. Okay, great. Uh, right after Essen. And I believe the target price is, the target retail price is supposed to be about 100 Okay, great. Um, but everything you see, the recessed boards, the meeples and stuff like that, that's intended to come standard oh, in the game. Is it? Okay. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for all your help. Yep, you're welcome.